Six weeks before Republican presidential primary voters go to the polls, Governor Christie's New Jersey Firearm Purchase and Permitting Commission recommends how to make it easier, clearer, and faster for law-abiding New Jerseyans to buy and carry guns. He wants to be able to waive this before the New Hampshire uh, audience, where obviously uh, issues around uh, gun safety are of paramount importance. The timing is interesting, but if he'd actually been out there trying to get Second Amendment type people in his corner to support him for his presidential run, uh, it would have been a hell of a lot stronger. The commission echoed what the New Jersey Second Amendment Society found in a series of hidden camera recordings at local police departments that process gun purchase and carry permits. The latest one released this morning of South Plainfield, where police did not respond to a request for comment. The commission concluded statutory requirements are being applied unevenly across New Jersey townships, unnecessary delays in processing applications, and the imposition of unauthorized requirements in the application process violate the law and introduce arbitrariness to the exercise of a fundamental right. Governor Christie, if he really believed in the Second Amendment, should have done what he did with the pension reform. The governor formed and appointed three lawyers to the commission a month after an ex-boyfriend in a domestic violence case murdered Carol Bound, who had been waiting 45 days for a gun permit when the state law limit for a decision is 30 days. She would sit at our kitchen table and tell us how often she went to the police telling them he was going to kill her. For carry permits, the commission recommends police approve applications when applicants can show an urgent need for self-protection against serious or specific threats, previous attacks, and there is no alternative means of protection. To avoid prosecution of out-of-state and legal gun owners who come to New Jersey, the commission recommends not charging gun carriers for picking up or dropping off passengers, buying food, fuel, medicine, or supplies, using a restroom or in an emergency situation. And the commission recommends for gun buying permits that the state attorney general direct police to exercise uniformity in applying the law and for state police and courts to speed up the decision process for victims of domestic violence. It's pathetic that we actually have to have an attorney general write a directive to tell the police chiefs and police officers to follow the law. That's absurd. The problem here is that there's no consequence. The governor's office did not respond to our request for an interview, and the state attorney general's office said there was no one available for an interview about a topic that's important to gun applicants and to some primary voters who will weigh in early on presidential candidates. In January, the president of New Jersey Second Amendment Society is going to New Hampshire at the invitation of gun rights organizations. He will talk about Governor Christie and gun rights in New Jersey. Michael Hill. And JTV News.